I do think we could be living in a simulation, as Elon Musk famously uh, suggested. We could be all living in a computer simulation. I don't think it's likely, but it's completely plausible given what we know right now. Right. The real issue is that one day we most likely will have something. As long as technology continues to exponentially advance, we'll one day have something that's indiscernible from the reality. They'll be able to interface more than likely. Yeah. They'll be able to interface yeah. with your senses, with the yeah. way the mind perceives reality, and create something yep. that passes that uncanny valley and literally feels like like real life, like yeah. the Matrix or whatever. I think whatever. that we might be very far or we might be pretty close. I think it's hard to tell because there's so much we don't know right now. It's not like this is coming in the next 10 years. But it could be a thousand but, years. Yeah, absolutely. And that it could, you know, the, the thought experiment that, that helps people accept this is, you know, a, a single neuron in your brain. You have something like, I don't know, 100 billion neurons in your brain. But every single one is not that complicated. It takes in some inputs. It puts in some outputs. It might be work to figure out exactly what it does, but it's not mysterious, right? So we can imagine replacing one neuron in your brain with a solid state micro uh, device that does exactly the same thing as that neuron. And you would be the same person, roughly speaking, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so if you believe that, then do that with two, ne two neurons and do it with three neurons. And you're gradually building up who you are, but just replacing your brain with something that is uh, machine made. And if you believe that can happen, there's no reason to think that machines can't be as human as we want them to be.